everyone. Happy Wednesday evening. Happy hump day. Almost to the holiday weekend. So thank you everyone for joining me tonight. We are just a few minutes early as usual. So we'll just kind of hang out and let some folks join in. So again, thank you everyone for being here tonight and uh, look forward to opening some fire here. I haven't opened an absolute hobby in a long time. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Haven't opened a 2019 score in a long time. So, <laughs> Salim, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. I'm doing pretty well, though, Salim. How are you? Oh, man. Almost forgot. Jeez. I'll turn on the sign. <laughs> Sean, how are you this evening? Good to see you, sir. Now that was uh, a little sign back here. That was my awesome Father's Day present I got. A light up brownie sign. Love it. I know, Murph. That's what you said. Said you're in Ohio. So you're up, where was that? You have Homestead, something like that, up near Cleveland. Levi, what's going on over on YouTube? How are you doing tonight, buddy? Good to see you back on them Ravens. Nah. For sure, for sure. Hopefully everybody's uh, going to enjoy a nice long holiday weekend. I know I certainly am. <laughs> Cal, what is going on? Sean, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. I'm doing quite well tonight, Sean. Thank you. I said, uh, nice short work week. It's holiday weekend coming up. It's getting hot here, though. Whew. Getting hot. Ma, how are you tonight? See you over there lurking on YouTube. Hope everything's going well. Let's see, you got a couple teams tonight too, didn't you, Ma? Yeah, you picked up your Saints and your Seahawks. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody, we'll give it just another minute, and then we'll go down some ownership, and we'll go ahead and get started. But uh, like I said, should have a good one tonight. Got a score, which I haven't opened a 2019 score in a long time. So uh, some work there, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Chronicle is always good, limited. I'm really excited to open the Absolute Hobby. Haven't opened one of those in a, at least a month or so. Like everything else, 2019, they've gotten outrageous on the pricing. So hot in Omaha, Sean. Yeah, that's the way it is here, too. Just the humidity. That's, yeah, I mean, air temp is high. It's 90, but it's the humidity that's just brutal. <laughs> All right, Ma. Getting a visit from your daughter. Awesome. <laughs> Levi. 2017 Mahomes score auto PSA 10. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, old Mr. Mahomes. There you go. If anybody on uh, Facebook's interested, Levi's. Uh, <laughs> sounds like Levi Cole's got a uh, little Mahomes rookie auto. That's nice. That is nice, nice. All right. All right, I'll tell you what, everybody. Let me just double check here, make sure we're looking good. I think we are. All right, yeah, looking good on YouTube. Looking good on Facebook. So welcome, welcome, everyone, tonight. Thank you for uh, joining me tonight. Said so just do a little midweek one here uh, for the holiday weekend. Trying to sell it to buy a Lamar. Well, you know. We're looking for the Danny Dimes tonight, John, to go with the Kyler. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Whew. Well, we'll try, sir. I promise you, we'll try. <laughs> All right, but yeah, holiday weekend coming, so we'll get this break in here. And then um, doing an eBay tomorrow night, actually. I'm going to take Friday and Saturday off. Um, but I uh, thought I wanted to get one more in before the weekend.
So, uh, yeah, so if you're interested, we've got a 2020 breakup on eBay tomorrow. Uh, so that should be a good one. Open some more Flash, Legacy. Got some Sage, a little more Prism. I think it's a very interesting move, Sean. Oh, nice. Mur nice, Levi. Murray Contenders Optic Auto out of 50. Heck, yeah. Man, I've been thinking about that. I, You know, I'm typically not on the big on the grading because I don't resell a lot, but I don't know. I got a few cards I might be interested to get them graded just to see, just to see. Sean, uh, yeah, as far as Cam going to the Patriots, I think it's a very interesting move. I think it's a smart move by the Patriots. Uh, it's a one-year deal. See what happens. See if uh, I think the big question is, will Cam be okay with the Patriot way? Because <laughs> I'm sure it is not harsh. You've heard a lot of guys come out of there and say, it's not fun. You win, but it's not fun. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and do some ownership and get this party started. So Arizona Cardinals tonight, we got Daniel Murphy. Uh, so good luck, uh, Murph. Cal Wetzel picked up the Atlanta Falcons, trying to keep that Ridley fire going. At uh, Levi Cole and the Ravens tonight. And uh, Brian Whiting closed us out with the Buffalo Bills. So thank you, Brian. Uh, Justin Slaughterback on the Carolina Panthers tonight. Uh, John Campbell picked up the Chicago Bears. We got Michael Boger on the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, I ended up picking up the Browns there. Those are the last two teams, the Bills and the Browns. So I said, I'll take the Browns. And Brian took the Bills, and we got it done. So uh, Brian also picked up Dallas originally. So, Brian, good luck on both your spots, and appreciate you closing that out. We got uh, Brandon Garthwaite on the Denver Broncos. So good luck on that spot. Uh, Jamie Frazier on the Detroit Lions. Jamie, I think that's your first break with me. So uh, welcome and good luck. Uh, Roscoe Anderson on the Green Bay Packers, and same thing, Roscoe, I believe your first break with me, so welcome and good luck. Uh, Matt Kinzer picked up the Houston Texans. we got Doug Vanover on his Indianapolis Colts. You mean the Pats going to win it, Salim said. That's what I mean. I think it's uh, all of a sudden it changes the equation a lot on what people are expecting from New England. That is for sure. Um, and I'm sure Belichick is excited. The things that you know Cam Newton can do, beyond just standing in the pocket like Brady. So, you know, he may not have that same precision and dissect the, the defense like Brady, but hey, he's just got to scare you every play. Tuck that ball and go. Yeah, it's uh, – man, I just hope we get to see, to be honest with him. <laughs> I'm just really hoping we get to see. All right, so we got uh, Doug Vanover on the Colts, like I said. Uh, Bobby Podorowski or Bobby Potts, as everybody calls him, uh, on Jacksonville Jaguars. Got Seamus Murphy on the Chiefs tonight, looking for some Mahomies. Got uh, Cal also picked up the Chargers. A.J. Fairbank on the Rams. Uh, Chris Miami, uh, Manning got in on his Miami Dolphins, so uh, good luck, gentlemen. Todd Butters picked up the Vikings tonight. Uh, got Saleem back on the New England Patriots. Uh, Ma Hit Queen, or Debbie Shea, picked up the New Orleans Saints. I haven't heard – oh, that's funny, Ma. Every time I see that, and then I – because I've got your name in the shipping. Every time I see it, I'm just like, oh, man, that's funny. I just never hear it anymore. It's it's all ma. But so Levi says, ah, cheeseburger and a 10th round pick. They're going to trade for Deshaun next year ah, ah, for a cheeseburger and a 10th round pick. I like it, Levi. You never know. Hell, the way Bill O'Brien runs Houston. Sheesh. Okay, uh, John Bresh picked up the Giants. Like you said, looking for a Danny Dimes tonight. Uh, Matt Kinzer also picked up the Jets. Uh, Gary Eck from over at Eagle Finn also picked up Oakland and Philadelphia. Uh, so good luck on those spots, Gary. He's breaking right now. So <laughs> Ma says you haven't heard that either. <laughs> uh, you let me know if he pulls me anything crazy. <laughs> and then uh, I got the Brown. Gary's doing a 2018 break tonight. So I went for it and grabbed Cleveland. So keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Uh, R.W. Kiefer got his Steelers tonight, so uh, good to see you back on Pittsburgh, R.W., and good luck. Chris Jungerberg on the San Francisco 49ers, trying to get that 49ers fire rolling again. Had a good streak there, one or two breaks, kind of cool, so. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, Moss, Jason, Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, Chris, it's uh, Chris Miami. That's what I was going for. Chris Manning on Miami. Chris Miami, you know. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Ma, hit, Ma is also on the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, we got Sean Metzler on Tampa Bay tonight. Uh, Tegan Murphy on the Tennessee Titans and John Campbell on the Washington Redskins. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, should have a, have a good break coming. Let's see what we got. All right. We're going to start with the monster. We're going to start with the monster. <laughs> But, I, you know, it's a ton of cards, but we are looking for four autos. So that alone is – that alone is interesting enough. So, I said, I have not opened – I probably only opened one or two boxes of 2019 score this year. So, just, you know, it's one of the first sets out, obviously, and I didn't start breaking until August. So, whew. I said, at least so if they give you a, a bunch of cards, it's not an insane amount of packs. All right. All right. All right. So 10 packs, 400 guards. We'll just, uh, we'll go ahead and get them open and we'll go through them. Get the work out of the way here. So uh, continuing to watch uh, 2020 coming out. Join that. Uh, got Obsidian Draft Picks. It was on sale this Friday from Panini. So uh, it's going to be online only. So it's going to be like the Panini Black was. Have to get it through Panini. Uh, so I will do my best to get my hands on at least a few boxes. I mean, I love Obsidian. So if you're going to do a draft version of it, I am all in. So hopefully I'll have some of those and we can do a 2020 break next week. Get some, well, no, never mind. <clears throat> Since they're coming from Panini, it'll be a while to get them. <laughs> Seems like sometimes they take about a week just to ship, so. Oh, come on. These packs are fighting me a little bit. There we go. Monster stacks. Monster stacks. I love it, too. Heck, yeah. yeah. So, uh, going to be kind of an odd 4th of July here, obviously. <clears throat> I actually need to look up. I don't know. I, I think they canceled the fireworks. They always got to do a party, but so they can still shoot off the fireworks, but I guess that would encourage people to gather. Like my house, we can watch the fireworks that our city does from the front yard. <clears throat> and you know what? We always have people over, so and I'm sure they want to avoid that, but uh, I've heard plenty of people popping them off <laughs> in the neighborhood at night, so I imagine we'll still get a little bit of a show later. All right, all right, everybody. Well, let's go ahead and do some score. Thank you for being here, and good luck. See what we can find. All right, everything look good? Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, Jadavian Clowney, Tyler Boyd, Marshawn Lynch, Jody Smith, Melvin Gordon, Adam Vinatieri. Whoops, you got a Tyreek Hill. Make sure, yep, Melvin Gordon, Adam Vinatieri, Tyreek Hill. Okay, make sure we didn't miss anything there. A Miles Jack. Case Keenum, Wayne Gallman, TJ McDonald, Saquon Barkley. That's a great picture. Steven Goskowski, Jalen Smith. What, two kickers in the same pack? Come on. <laughs> Chris Herndon. And we got a Lorenzo Alexander. Little Alshon Jeffrey. That's a nice one, too. I like it. All right. Mohamed Sanu. <clears throat> Excuse me. Levante David, Marquez Valdez Scantling, OJ Howard, Russell Wilson, Mark Ingram, Domicon Sue, Luke Keekley. There we go. We got a scorecard of Terrell Edmonds. We'll hear our first set of inserts and rookies here. 
Got a Mitchell Trubisky on the throwbacks. It's kind of a cool card for Chicago and John. A good look to it. And we've got a signal callers of Deshaun Watson. There you go, Levi. I yeah, I was I'm gonna be honest with you, Levi, saying he wants to see a Dobbins. He thinks he's gonna be a beast. And I I was a little surprised he dropped as far as he did. I mean, I know I'm a homer with Ohio State, but I mean that dude is he is electric, man. <laughs> he is. I, I'm with you, Levi. <laughs> I'm with you. All right, got a little fantasy stars on an Aaron Rodgers. And then I believe we've got our first auto coming up here. So this one will go out to Todd and the Vikings. There we go, Dylan Mitchell. Little Dylan Mitchell going out to Todd and the Vikings. So congratulations, Todd. Found the first auto of the night. That's right, kickers need love too, Sean. <laughs> So congratulations, Todd. Get us started tonight on the autos. Little Dylan Mitchell. Now we're going to have to start with the upper deck just to have a chance at seeing him. <laughs> well, let me turn that ceiling fan off. That's making it weird. There we go. I'll slow down in a second. We'll get rid of that. <laughs> Swirling light. All right. All right, guys, so since we got a lot of rookies and everything, I will sleeve these. I'll penny sleeve these a little bit later. I may penny sleeve some of them if we get bigger names, but uh, uh, otherwise I'll come back and I'll get the rookies later. All right, we got a Clayton Thorson, Jalen Hurd, Ryan Finley, Jake Browning, a Christian Wilkins, a little Josh Allen, a Miles Gaskin, Hey, Doug, what's going on, buddy? We are just getting started. Had one auto of Dylan Mitchell there. So otherwise, we are literally in, I think, the first pack. Yeah, we're in the first pack of scores. So, all right, a Jermaine Pratt, Stanley Morgan Jr., and a Kelvin Harmon. All right, Jayon Brown, Keenan Allen, Jabal Sheard. I like that one. Sammy Watkins, Calais Campbell. Philip Lindsay, Terrell Suggs, Mike Williams, Olivier Vernon, Josh Gordon, Odell Beckham, Jamal Adams, still with the Giants. That's funny, just seeing that earlier in the year. So it's Giants card. A Jamal Adams, Zach Martin, a Jordan Reed, Micah Hyde, and a Nelson Aguilar. Whoops, another one hide back there. Danny Amendola was also back there. All right, then a Sheldon Rankins, little Jimmy G, Nick Mullins, Mike Adams, Marcus Peters, little Michael Thomas, Aaron Donald, Christian McCaffrey. We're going to enjoy our inserts here. Ooh, numbered. All right, so a little Tyree Jackson going out to Buffalo, 42 out of 50. So there you go, Brian. Just started on Buffalo. Oops, open top, top loaders already. Ah. Sorry, I'll have to pardon the dog going nuts there. Grandma took the girls out for ice cream. I think she's dropping them back off. So, <laughs> All right, Tyree Jackson going out to Buffalo, 42 out of 50. Going out to Brian. And a signal callers on a Roethlisberger for RW and the Steelers. And a Zeke Elliott on an Epics. So that's a cool little insert. Also going to Brian and the Cowboys. So we got a huddle up before we hit our rookies here. A huddle up for the Patriots. And then a Hollywood Brown. That's, okay, that's just a different card. The draft, Okay. A little Hollywood Brown there for you, Levi. A little bit different on that one. All right. And then our stack of rookies, we've got an Andy Isabella, Alex Barnes, a Devin Singletary, 
little Nicky Bosa. Take the time to go ahead and penny him now. I'll penny all of them later. Like I said, all the rookies, I just, we got a lot. <laughs> Rodney Anderson. A Trayvon Mullen. An Antoine Wesley. A Devin Bush. Sean, you having some issues on Facebook? Was it being slow? Yeah, YouTube's a better platform for this kind of stuff, to be honest with you. Hakeem Butler and a Jacoby Myers. But I do like the Facebook because if you're in a break, you're going to get a notification. And I, I know you can set that up on YouTube too, but I don't know. I kind of like that with Facebook. So, But that's why I do it on both. <laughs> All right. Got a Spencer Ware, a Yannick Ngakwe, Emmanuel Sanders, Michael Crabtree, Tyrell Williams, CJ Uzama, AJ Green, a Jalen Richard, Avery Williamson, a Sterling Shepard, a little Jamie Collins, Ryan Tannehill, Mason Foster, Kenyon Drake, and a Michael Bennett, and a Tom Brady. But a Kyle Rudolph, Chandler Jones, Matt Ryan, Gerald McCoy, uh, Kyler Fackrell, oh, don't recognize that one, <laughs> Ronnie Jones, old Darius Slay, and a Christian Kirk. Got yeah, here. Here we go. Score buyback on the Jeff Bryant for the Seahawks. The score buyback card is a Jeff Bryant going out to Ma and the Seattle Seahawks. So a little something different there for you, Ma. Little something different on the score buyback. And then a scorecard of Terrell Suggs for the Ravens. We got a Jared Goff on the Epics, the Rams, and AJ. And then we got an Alejandro Villanueva on the All Hands team. Oh, what? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's kind of an odd. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting one, but I like it again. I like when you get a little different there. All right, and then our draft this time is the Rodney Anderson. That's why I guess these are in every pack. I forgot the first pack. We didn't get one because uh, of the auto, so which is a good thing. And then a Wesley Woodyard on a captain's going out to Tennessee and Tegan. And here we go, our stack of rookies. We've got a Brett Ripien, a Rocky Asin. Yeah, my, that is kind of cool. I just love getting those different cards. Those are always fun. There's a little Stidham. I know everybody's going, ah, but Cam's on a one-year deal. <laughs> See what happens. A Jacques Patrick, Jeffrey Simmons, Quinnen Williams, Miles Sanders, C.J. Conrad, Mike Weber, DeAndre Baker. All right, back to our veterans here. We got Todd Davis, Alex Collins, Markel Lee, Melvin Ingram, Jesse Bates, a Seth Roberts, Brian Arakpo, a Derwin James, Blake Bortles. Hey, Matt, what's going on, buddy? Landon Collins. We are early in, man. We're uh, just a couple packs into the score. Pulled one auto so far. It was a Dylan Mitchell for the Vikings. So, Jordan Howard, Kiko Alonzo, Chris Thompson, Sony Michelle. Fletcher Cox, that's cool. <laughs> I like that one. Chris Hogan, a Lorenzo Carter. Got an Andrew Whitworth. Did he sign to come back for another year? Devin Funches, I'm assuming he did, but. Hey, he's a big Pats hater and you still, yeah, I'm. David Moore, that's what I mean. I don't think it's time to give up on him. Belichick is cautious. His offense is complicated. You know, guys trying to make a transition from uh, college to the pros. Calvin Ridley, Rashad Penny, Harrison Smith, Matt Breida. And, I, you know, maybe New England's trying out Cam with the intention of signing him to long-term if it works. You know, maybe it's a one-year gap. So, 
All right, little Jimmy Graham. It's kind of cool here. How about a gold zone of Julius Peppers, numbered eight out of 50. Let's see, eight out of 50 on the Julius Peppers gold zone. And that goes out to uh, Justin in Carolina. Yep, and I know he was, uh, Stidham was one of those guys a lot of people talked about that, like, hey, he's going to drop, but keep your eye on him. Got a Lamar Jackson, just he was in a uh, very basic offense, so he's going to have a learning curve. But a hey, Roquan Smith on the throwbacks doesn't mean he can't do it. This means he might need a little more time. All right, got a captains of Marcus Mariota for Tennessee. And a Fantasy Stars Week 12, Tom Brady versus the Jets. So you go, Salim, scooping up those Tom Brady's while he's in the patch uniform, right? All right, rookie stack. Elijah Holyfield, Byron Murphy, Kyle Shermer, Ed Oliver, Karan Higdon, TJ Hawkinson, Lil Jordan Humphrey, and Mac Wilson for the Brownies. A little Paris Campbell and Buckeye Love and an Omani Arawari. And a Lamar Jackson, a Jarvis Landry, J.J. Watt, Joe Mixon, Jordy Nelson, Tajay Sharp, Philip Rivers, Chester Rogers, Tredavious White, Alec Ogletree, Frank Gore, Eli Manning, Kenny Stills, Michael Gallup, oops, and Rob Gronkowski, Leighton Vander Esch. A Jared Goff, Julio Jones, Larry Fitzgerald, Kirk Cousins, Jason Pierre Paul, and Luke Wilson. Got a Marshawn Lattimore, Arik Armstead, Shaq Thompson, then a red zone of Spencer Ware, and that one is number 20 out of 20. So there you go, going out to uh, Seamus Russell Wilson there on the uh, Spencer Ware red zone, 20 out of 20. So congratulations, Seamus. Little Chiefs hit there for you. Very nice. Those are good-looking cards, man. Like, they, yeah, that and the gold zone, those are sharp. It's got a nice nice finish on the card. All right, how about an all-hands team of TJ Yeldon? I had forgotten, like, the score inserts are great. How about an epics of a Baker Mayfield, an epic moment? Yeah, the inserts and score are great. A Cam Newton on a captains. It's kind of like playoff or uh, rookies and stars. I love the rookies and stars inserts. All right, got a DeAndre Hopkins on a celebration for the Texans. And our rookies, we've got a JJ Arcega Whiteside, Hunter Renfro, a Jordan Scarlett, Caleb Wilson, a little greedy. Well, Nikhil Harry, Greg Dortch, James Williams, Patrick Laird, and a little Will Greer. All right, so first half of score done. We only pulled one auto so far, the Dylan Mitchell. Uh, but a couple of nice numbered cards with the uh, Spencer Ware on the red zone. Ooh, some things up here out of the way. The Julius Peppers on the gold zone and the uh, Tyree Jackson, number Tyree Jackson. So good start, but we are looking for three autos out of this monster. So, all right, good luck, everyone. Suing fine in the second half. All right, Chris Conley, Corey Davis, Jeff Hireman, Justin Tucker, Doug Martin, Sean Williams, Alfred Blue. I remember drafting that guy in a bunch of fantasy leagues as a backup for um oh why can't I think of his name? Man. 
Ah, it's going to bother me. Now I can't think of his name. Before, oh, before Lamar Miller. Ah, anyway. Antonio Callaway, Zach Cunningham, Kyle Fuller, Juju Smith-Schuster, Ryan Kerrigan, John Bostic, Darius Geis. Got a LaShawn McCoy, a Julian Edelman, Matthew Stafford, Brandon Cooks, Dalvin Cook, Chad Williams, Foster. Thank you. Arian Foster. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you knew exactly who I was talking about. Arian and Foster. That's why I'm like, I don't. Okay. Aaron Jones, a Peyton Barber, Taylor Lewan, Drew Brees, Will Disley, and an Alex Smith on a scorecard. Yeah, Aaron Foster. You guys know what I'm talking about, though, in fantasy. Like, he was a beast if he could stay healthy. And an all-hands team. Oh, that's a cool one. On a Nick Chubb. I like that. I definitely don't have that, so I'll take that all day. Love it. That's cool. I remember that, too. I remember that catch, too. Got an epic moment on the Jared Goff. And our draft is a Ryan Finley for the Bengals. All right. Next auto coming up. Goes out to the Washington Redskins on Emmanuel Hall. And that is a red zone. 11 out of 20. 11 out of 20. Very nice. That goes out to John and Washington. 11 out of 20 on the red zone. So congrats. That is very nice. Always digging the nice low numbered autos. Wow. <laughs> Doug says, I remember when that happened. 11 out of 20 on the Emmanuel Hall. Arian Foster. Yeah. That's funny. And, you know, he was one of those guys I remember. Uh, I just remember reading a little story because I guess he was kind of getting some uh, hate mail for people about fantasy. And he's like, oh, I don't give a crap about all that stuff and this and that. And I said, you should, man, because if you didn't, the I'm not saying you should worry about how he's performing, but that's why we all know him. <laughs> fantasy, man. Fantasy is why we know your name. All right. Travis Homer, Darwin Thompson. Ooh, there we go. A little Gardner Minshew for Bobby and the Jags. A little Hollywood Brown, Terry Godwin, LJ Scott, Julian Love, Elijah Holyfield, Byron Murphy, and a Kyle Shermer. All right, pack number two. Still looking for two more autos out of here. All right, John Brown, Jared Cook, Tyler Eifert, Kiki Kute, Denzel Ward, Andrew Luck, Jabriel Peppers, Darius Leonard, Danny Trevathan, Joe Hayden, Mitchell Trubisky, Chris Ivory, Adrian Peterson, Jared Davis and Blah Pal. There's a little choppy on Facebook there. How's it looking on YouTube? And so I just put that on to see how it was looking after Sean's comment. It was a little bit choppy. A little bit smoother on YouTube. Let's see here. All right. Carry on Johnson. Cole Beasley. And a Blake Martinez. Adam Humphreys. Yeah, we're just a little choppy tonight, aren't we? And a Jack Doyle. Traquan Smith. Bobby Wagner. DJ Moore. Pierre Garcon. And a Devontae Freeman. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully I'll clear up here. Usually, unfortunately, there's really nothing we can do about it except ride it on out. So hopefully that'll smooth out for us a little bit. All right. Philip Lindsay. But one of the reasons I make sure to read the names on all the cards, Philip Lindsay on a scorecard, in case, it, in case it does that to us. All right, got a throwbacks, maybe. 
on a Von Miller. A little Denver love for Brandon there. And got a signal callers on the uh, Kirk Cousins. Or Kirk Cousins on the signal callers. Got a captains of Travis Kelsey. I don't know why I keep doing that. I know I'm going to penny sleeve the inserts. <laughs> a huddle up of the Detroit Lions. And yeah, Sean, sometimes it's just could be your, you know, my internet. It could be this restream app. It's like usually it kind of smooths itself out. Got a Rashawn Gary. A Damian Harris, Alexander Madison, Daryl Henderson, Ja'Kai Polite, DK Metcalf, and Oshani Zemenis, Trace McSorley, Darius Slayton. There we go. There's a little Danny Dimes. A little Danny Dimes for John on the base rookie, but we'll take it. I like that in the Duke uniform. Little Danny Dimes. That is still, hmm. All right, got a Mark Andrews to hear Whitehead. Wesley Woodyard. A Vaughn Miller. Naheem Hines. Patrick Mahomes. Kevin Bard. A Bradley Chubb. A Zay Jones, Tariq Cohen, Robert Foster, a Robbie Anderson, Marvin Jones, Zeke Elliott, man, Patrick, I'm like going backwards looking at, yeah, Kenny Galladay, Antonio Brown, Aaron Rodgers, sorry, I was trying, I was kind of watching the feed to see how it was looking, and I, I'm watching the cards there, like, no, don't read those cards, read the ones you're actually... <laughs> All right, Jameis Winston, got a Frank Clark, a Mario Addison. Dogs are barking for the Danny Dimes, that's right. Kyle Juzik, <laughs> Demonte Kazee, ooh, don't know that one. Yeah, unfortunately, the dogs bark for everything. <laughs> got a Corey Littleton, Daniil Hunter, Josh Bynes, got a Hollywood Brown on the uh, scorecard. That's nice. Take that. Go Levi, Hollywood Brown. A signal callers on the Nick Mullins. And a Drew Brees on the epic moment. Uh, you know, actually fireworks don't seem to set them off. Um, Sean, it's more just people going down the street or, you know what I mean, things like that. It's not necessarily the loud noises, so. And it's really just one, and once one of them gets started, they all get started, and you know how that goes. <laughs> we have three, so. Got uh, Kelvin Harmon. Kelvin Harmon going out to Washington there on the draft. All right, next auto up, going out to Tennessee, and Tegan Baker Mayfield Murphy on the Jeffrey Simmons. So a little Jeffrey Simmons. Going out to Tegan Murphy and the Tennessee Titans. I know this guy had some background issues, but he's got a ton of talent, so might be a good one. Might be a good one, so congrats, Tegan. Get you a nice auto. So that is three of our autos. All right, got some more rookies here. we got a Nick Brosette, Travion Williams, a Dexter Lawrence, a Dexter Williams, Jalen Smith, Preston Williams, Deontay Thompson, Noah Fant, Riley Ridley, and there we go, another Dylan Mitchell. All right, here we go, Steven Nelson, Jalen Ramsey, Justin Houston, T.Y. Hilton, Nick Chubb, Will Fuller, Andy Dalton. Yeah, that was a steal for that. Uh, Jarrell Casey getting traded to the Broncos for nothing. 
Maurice Hurst, Zach Ertz, Tremaine Edmonds, Evan Ingram. That's nice, Ma, if you've got a dog that doesn't bark at anything. Ours bark at everything. Yeah, I'm so glad we live on a cul-de-sac. I can't imagine if I lived on a busy street. Got a Matt Milano, a Tyron Smith, Brock Osweiler, Amari Cooper, Albert Wilson, a Sean Lee. Okay, it was just a flipped. All right, John Johnson, Vic Beasley. Chase Edmonds. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, Denver got Casey for a seventh round pick. Is eight box coming up. Uh, I think you might be looking at the wrong spot. This is the only break we've got tonight. It was just a five box mixer, George. You got a Stefan Diggs, a David Johnson, Randall Cobb, Deshaun Jackson. Got a Shaquille Griffin, a Quentin Nelson. I think you may be looking for another room, sir. <laughs> Just the one break tonight. Quentin Nelson on the scorecard. We got a signal callers of Andy Dalton for the Bengals and Michael. Got a throwbacks of Melvin Gordon. And a little Nicky Bosa on the draft. Very nice. Nice little Niners there, Chris. All right. Looks like our last auto. Little LJ Scott. <laughs> RW says, oh, I'll take a uh, Troy Polamalu auto. <laughs> now, LJ Scott, I'm not 100%. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's a Brown, right? Or he was. I know this is the guy that retired from football. <laughs> I know this is the guy that retired from football, so I'll do a little check, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. And 9.15 Eastern, nah, George, I think you're in the wrong spot, buddy. So LJ Scott. Nope, this was just a Facebook break. All right, Emmanuel Hall, Jalen Ferguson, Montez Sweat, Jalen Moore, Miles Boykin. LJ Scott was clear. I thought he was. I just, like, he, he didn't hang around very long. Got a Gary Jennings Jr., Jonathan Abram, Anthony Johnson. Here we go, a little Joshy Jacobs. We'll take that. Are you in a penny right away? And then we've got an Anthony Ratliff Williams. All right, so we've got to be getting down here. I think this is our last pack. All right, got a Derrick Henry, Chris Harris, Eric Ebron, Travis Kelsey, Telvin Smith, a Jordan Wilkins, a Marlon Mack. Yeah, I got to Cleveland and decided to retire. I know, right? <laughs> No, I know. No, Sean, that you're not joking. It's uh, I know. I know. It's kind of funny. Went there and said, you know, <laughs> Demarius Thomas, Cordell Patterson. Believe me, I made a few jokes and heard a few jokes. Zeke Ansa, Demarcus Lawrence, Theo Riddick, TJ Watt, and a LeGarrette Blunt, a Josh Allen, and Eddie Jackson. And a DeForest Buckner, a Taysom Hill, Julius Peppers, Johnny Hecker, Tevin Coleman, a Buddha Baker, Latavius Murray, a Josh Rosen. There we go. How about an artist proof of LaShawn McCoy, number 12 out of 35, going out to the Bills. So there you go, Brian. 12 out of 35 on the artist proof of LaShawn McCoy. I can't take this drama. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. I'm just hoping they hired the right head coach this time. Give them an opportunity to do something. 
Khalil Mack. I know a lot of people were dogging, you know, oh, you hired the offensive coordinator. Didn't you see what they did in the playoffs, Minnesota? Yeah, but it was also – they also had one of the highest-ranked offenses in the year. It was Kirk Cousins' best year. So I'm kind of going with that. He got the most out of that that he can, and San Francisco's defense was a buzzsaw. So, all right, Julio Jones on the all-hands team. So I'm I'm hoping he's the right guy. It finally sounds like everybody's on the same page, him, the GM. So, man, I'm hoping. And a Tom Brady. On the captains, a little fantasy stars, Cam Newton versus the Bengals. <laughs> sort of like I always joke, I see a lot of uh, the action shots with Cleveland Browns players falling down in the background, <laughs> yeah, chasing guys. <laughs> All right, last set of rookies, guys. Clellan Farrell, got a Bryce Love, got a Terry McLaurin, Justice Hill, DeAndre Walker, A.J. Brown, a Nasir Adderley, Tyree Jackson, Johnny Dixon. There we go. And how about finish it off with a little Dwayne Haskins? Dwayne Haskins there to finish us off. So, all right, not bad. Not bad at all. No monsters, but uh, definitely some good numbered cards. Lots of rookies as always, so I will uh, penny sleeve all of those. Just I'll do it a little bit later. Won't make you guys watch me do it. <laughs> all right, but that's a good warm up. Good warm up. Uh, Sean, I think you're right. I think Nick Chubb is going to have a monster year. Uh, just the style of offense. That's the big thing. The style of offense I think they're going to run. We know Stefanski loves to run the ball. They should uh, – you know what, Sean? Baker can throw 17 picks as long as he throws about 40 touchdowns. How about that? <laughs> Actually, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, Baker will be the uh, biggest beneficiary of that offense. Just uh, rely a lot more on the run game, a lot more play action. A lot of tight end usage, things that should help him not have to force plays. Um, but you know, I, you know, people give him a lot of crap too. And hey, man, he's had two years in the league, and one of them was really good. And I think the wheels fell off on a lot of things last year. So I, I definitely have not jumped off that bandwagon. I'm still very optimistic that he can be their quarterback. So, all right, let's do a limited. So we're looking at. Looking for uh, three hits out of here. These are always fun. Three packs. Uh, Limited has some beautiful RPAs and on-card autos. Just three packs, but looking for one hit out of each. We did actually pull one of the uh, draft day booklets last week. That was pretty awesome. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got a little fatty. I don't know. I don't know here. I feel a lot of well, that one's definitely the thinnest. So do 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 do. All right, so I like to go these uh, one at a time here, as you guys know. Yeah, and I definitely don't buy into the he's uh, Johnny Manziel hype either. So, all right, we're gonna start with the big fatty here. See what we got. So if we pull the mem, we'll uh, save the other thicker one for last. If we pull the RPA, we'll save the thin one for last. So we can try to get an auto at the end. All right, so one pack. So the limited is always open front. Man, that is still just choppy connection, isn't it? I apologize for that, guys. I'll definitely uh, hold the uh, good hits out there for a second, make sure everybody can see what we got. So, all right, let's uh, pull two off the bottom here. Something with rounded corners. That is odd. <laughs> All right. Got a Sam Darnold to start us off. Said, I like these. Even just the uh, base, base cards are really nice. This would be a nice base set to collect. Not quite as uh, nice as the national treasure Sean's working on. But, uh, yeah, Sean, I think the O-line is going to be the big difference, too. Uh, actually, Manziel, man, he went up to Canada for a while, and he flamed out there. And, uh 
he's pretty much said he's done with it. He's at peace. I think he's actually trying to work on his golf game. He said he's down to a two handicap, but now it was actually, I just read a pretty good article about that recently, Cal, where he pretty much just said, yeah, I, uh, I didn't put in the work. I didn't do what I had to do. Said I loved playing, but I didn't love the rest of it. And, uh, yeah. Said it's on me. I'm at peace with that and ready to move on. So yeah, give him credit for at least owning up to it. All right. Little Von Miller there. Got a Jacoby Brissett. Man, oh, it's just not getting any better, is it? All right. Hmm. Saquon Barkley. That's why we've got rounded corners. We've got a one of one. We have got a one of one. One of one. And I'm going to let old Melissa hold down to one of one just for a moment, just because that's exciting. Always a good way to end. So we're just going to let Melissa hang out there. <laughs> oh, Cal, uh, he might be, but, uh, or Sean, he might be. Uh, and Sean says he's selling weed for a dispensary. Uh, you got to remember, his daddy's got money. So his daddy's in the oil business. His family's got money. So I bet, he's, I bet he'll get a good job. But, yep. So we're going to let Melissa hold down that one of one, which we will get to. I'll have to pull out a one touch for that. So uh, we'll get to that. So we're going to go pack number two. Oh, yeah. Love getting some one-on-one -on -one fire. All right. So pull two off the bottom. Let me put the hit down there. Here we go. Little George Kittle going out to the Niners. Got a Matt Ryan, a little Matty Ice. Tom Brady for Salim and the Pats. He does have a good job selling weed, Sean says. <laughs> and our numbered here, we've got a Ryan Fitzpatrick, 57 out of 99 for the Dolphins. So a Ryan Fitzpatrick going out to Chris in Miami. Ah, RW says leave some hits for the rest of us. Ah. So that is Chris Manning and the Miami Dolphins. Maybe I'll just start calling you Chris Miami, though. I kind of like that, too. Oh, I'm sorry. That's five out of 99. What was I calling out? Five out of 99. I don't know what I was saying. Five out of 99. Five out of 99 on the Fitzpatrick. And this one is numbered five out of 25 on a limitless for Ma and the Seahawks on a Shaquem Griffin, man. That's a nice looking man. I haven't seen too many of those. I have not seen too many of those. So nice one, Ma. Shaquem Griffin on the limitless for the Seahawks. Five out of 25. Very nice. Very nice, Ma. Five out of 25 on the Shaquem Griffin limitless. I think that's what I'm saying. I like that. Chris Miami. <laughs> All right. Congrats, Ma. All right. So pack number three. We're looking for an auto out of here also. And then we'll come back and do our one one baby. Our one one A couple off the bottom. All right. How about a Joey Bosa going to the Chargers? Now, Chris Miami, now that sounds like a guy that's selling weed. <laughs> Dak Prescott. Uh, uh. Got a guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name's Chris Miami. Uh, uh. Got a Lamar Jackson. Go, Levi. I don't think that's the Lamar you're looking for, but. Well, this is true. You know, yeah, it's true. You don't want to roll away from Manning because, like you said, you know, one of the great, heck, one of the great families. A.J. Green. What would Cooper have been had he not had his health issues? Because I know there are some that still think he was the best of the lot. 
Some thinking he was the best of the lot. Yeah, yes, you do, Chris, because you're right. Miami's going to be a whole new ballgame. Chris A needs uh, break funds for 2020 breaks because, yep, Miami's going to be a little different story. All right, here we go. Going out to Cal and the Chargers. How about a Nasir Adderley, numbered 86 out of 199? So congrats, Cal, a Nasir Adderley. Numbered 86 out of 199. Going out to the Los Angeles Chargers. That is Cal. So no Calvin Ridley, but we got you a hit. Oh, really? Cooper's son's supposed to be pretty good, Doug? Okay. Like I said, I just kind of read around, you know, some people saying, yeah, he was he was the one that everybody really thought was going to be amazing. So, all right, got to grab one touch here. Oh, man, I'm so <laughs> – that's where I moved everything. I got to figure out where all my stuff is. Seriously, what did I do with my <laughs> – looking for a bag. Give me just a moment here, guys. I'm like, somewhere around here is a bag with a bunch of one touches in it, and that's what I need. Ah, there it is. <laughs> so they get the shop set up in a whole new room, so that's also part of the reason I took advantage of the long holiday weekends to get settled back in. All right, it is one of one time. I haven't even seen the front of this. Oh, is this a plate? Oh, it's a – oh, my God. Are you kidding me? This is like a printing plate, RPA. Man, that looks on card. We'll take a better look here when I stand it up. Don't worry, RW, your streak is over. How about a little Deontay Thompson, or Deontay Johnson, sorry, wrong wrong Deontay. Thompson's the Cardinals. Johnson is the Steelers. One-on-one to end your cold streak. Cal didn't get all the hits. Pittsburgh got this one. I mean, there's got to be it. And really, yeah, maybe there is a sticker there. I don't know if I'm imagining the edges. <laughs> I really, I'm not 100% RW, to be quite honest with you. It it looks, oh, there's got to be a sticker there, right? Like I said, I don't know if I'm imagining seeing the lines from the sticker when I turn it. I don't know. Any way you shake it, though, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. So little Deontay on the 101 going out to RW in Pittsburgh. So there you go. But that's what I said. First thing I saw out of the pack was the rounded corners. And I'm like, that's, that's different. <laughs> you don't see rounded corners very often or not limited anyways. So there you go. And that explains why that is, I mean, that's printing plate RPA nasty, nasty. So congrats RW. Congrats on the 101, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. Well, we definitely uh, heated things up there just a little bit. A uh, little bit with the limited. That was really nice. Woo -hoo. Man, 101 fire. All right. So what do we got? We got Chronicles. We got Absolute. And we got the helmet left. Chronicles Absolute and the Helmet. Tell you what, before we go any further, let's uh, let's do a little extra. Let me go over here. I know where the extra box is, so let me let me dig out a little extra something for our break here. What do we have? Oh, 
Nah. Uh, Brian, no, no big Bills or Cowboys, but I think they have a numbered. Yeah, we had a numbered McCoy, numbered to uh, 35 on the artist proof. Yeah, no autos yet, but uh, oh, we had a we had a couple of Cowboys inserts, but yep, no no monsters yet for those teams. Ah, ah. yeah, I figured I'd do the Chronicles, uh, Sean, and then I'll end with the Absolute. Just I like to end with those smaller boxes where you can you know kind of know you're going to come out with an auto at the end. That always makes it fun. So, but before we move on to that. Before we move on to that, how about I got one more of these sitting around, one more of these contenders autos. Let's put our limited uh, up here in the stack. Put uh, Melissa back over here as a cover card. Let's do a contenders auto. So we're looking for one more hit out of here. Said I appreciate you all joining me here tonight. I know there's a lot of breakers out there, so I appreciate you breaking it, breaking boxes with Scotty. Nah, I love opening cards, so. Let's open a few more and find another hit. All right. So, yep, you're right, Brian. We did find some uh, one-on-one fire already, though, out of limited. That was pretty sweet. Congrats again, RW. That is nice because you have been cold on Pittsburgh, too. So that is definitely a nice one. That is definitely a nice one. All right. All right, all right. Let's just get these ripped open. My, you've been quiet. I'm assuming that means there's no big brownies over there for me. <laughs> Gary hadn't found me anything good, huh? You find you any good Baltimore? Hmm. 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 Is there a fatty in there? Or? May not have been. There may not have been. Let's see. All right. So there we go. A little uh, Panini Contenders Blaster. I don't know. Yeah, we might. Uh, might be, oh, no. Yeah, I think I see it down there. All right. <laughs> Got a Lamar swatch. Yeah, I'll take it, though. It's a nice rookie. Nice rookie hit. All right, good luck, everyone. Here we go. Devontae Parker, Aaron Rodgers, Andy Dalton, a little famous Jameis, MVP contenders of Mr. Brady. We got a Vaughn Miller, a Zay Jones, a Kirk Cousins. Got a Mitchell Trubisky. A Tyler Lockett, Melvin Ingram. Oh, we got a round numbers here. Oh, both for the Colts, though. Rock Yasin and Ben Benagu. Baker Mayfield, Cam Newton, Darius Leonard, George Kittle, a Patrick Mahomes, a Jared Goff. Dak Prescott, no Baker, Ma. Hey, I'm looking for Chubb, too. Sam Darnold, I want Chubbs as much as I want Baker. Got a Rookie of the Year contenders on the Hakeem Butler. But, you know, that's how it rolls. I got one, what, Saturday night, so a little Baker Baker on Saturday. So Julio Jones, Tyrell Williams, and a Pat Tillman, or maybe that was a couple breaks ago. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was a couple breaks ago. Oh, yeah, it was a couple breaks ago. Got the uh, Denzel Ward on Saturday. Aaron Jones, Joe Mixon, Mike Evans. Got a Nick Foles on a winning ticket. Got a Leighton Vander Esch, a C.J. Mosley, Khalil Mack, a Derrick Henry. Got a Marcus Mariota. An Eli Manning, a Tom Brady, an MVP contenders of Aaron Donald. That's our hits. We'll grab that in just a second. Matt Ryan, a Travis Kelsey, and an Aaron Donald. 
All right, so for our extra hit, it's not an auto, but it's a good one. How about a little Danny Dimes on a rookie ticket? How about a nice Danny Dimes on a rookie ticket? Going out to the Giants and John, so congrats, John. Said not that big auto, but a nice Danny Dimes nonetheless. A nice Danny Dimes. So congratulations. Little Danny Dimes there on the rookie ticket. So congratulations. That's a nice extra. I'll take that all day. I will take that all day out of a little blaster. <laughs> Run me for just a second here, guys. I do have a lot of whining. I want to double check, make sure the dogs are. I'll be right back. Just give me 30 seconds. Sorry. <laughs> kids talking to the neighbor, kids out front driving the dogs nuts. So sorry about that. But all right, here we go. All right, let's do Chronicles. Yeah, we'll do Chronicles and then we'll do Absolute and the Helmet. All right, definitely a fan of Chronicles. It's been a lot of fun opening this. Uh, just, I, I don't know. I think it's just cool with all the different sets and everything. It's just fun. Every pack's fun. You get some different stuff. So I'm very impressed with this. There is a Chronicles draft picks coming out too. That may be next week. So be a lot of sets coming on 2020. So. All right, let's go ahead and get these open. We are looking for three hits here. I don't know, man. That pack wasn't sealed very well. I mean, it was a sealed box, though, so hoping it was just a bad, but that top was kind of open. So I don't know. We're going to see what's up there. They said it was a sealed box, though, so. And I, I mean, I got that from a distributor. Yeah, it was the Panini shrink wrap, so. Too worried about that one, I don't think, but that was definitely odd. Uh, Doug, I am. I'm going to try to get some of the uh, Obsidian Draft, definitely. Uh, it's gonna be hard though, because that one's through Panini only. So, but I will definitely try. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll pick up some of the Chronicles. Um, don't know if I'll jump on a case of it or not, but I will definitely get some. All right, everybody. But yeah, I'll 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 definitely try to get some of everything that showed up. So. Or, you know, all the that showed up. I'm reading comments over here at the time. Yeah, anything that goes on sale, I'll try to get at least a few boxes of it so we can check it out. Uh, I will definitely be trying to get that on Friday. And, uh, yeah, Chronicles Draft Picks comes out next week. I'll be looking for that then, too. So, all right, everybody, I just uh, penny sleeve everything out of this box. So, it, uh, it's only, what, 48 cards, so it won't take long. So, start off a little Nicky Chubb. And a Juju Smith Schuster. All right, there we go. How about a nice little Haskins on the Legacy? Got a little Haskins on the Legacy. 51 out of 75. So 51 out of 75 going out to John Campbell and the Redskins. So congratulations, John. A nice Haskins. What's going on, Gary? How are you doing tonight, buddy? That's what Ma told me there were – no, the Baker didn't show tonight. <laughs> All right, nice Haskins, though, for Washington and uh, John. 
And there we go. We'll follow it up with a nice Vertex rookie of Danny Dimes. So there we go. We got a few Danny Dimes in the house. Mem and a couple of base. So we'll take the Vertex for sure. Uh, well, Doug, uh, Panini is going to be selling it. I think it's about 150 but I'm sure the uh, secondary market price is going to be nuts. So, And there's a little Danny Dimes on the Crown Royal. Clayton, Clayton Thoris. <laughs> Yeah, that jersey, that Clayton Thorson jersey. Uh, Levi, no big Baltimore hits, buddy. No, you're okay. Apparently, we're going to go on a uh, Danny Dimes streak, though, because there's another one. <laughs> oh. So there we go, rolling out uh, three Danny Dimes. we got the Vertex, the Crown Royal, and now the Legacy. So we got the Danny Dimes men, uh, Mem out of the Contenders Blaster. Oops, come on, Danny. Here we go. Found a few Danny Dimes for you, John. No monsters yet. Definitely a few. All right. Got a Devin White going out to the Bucks. We got a Miles Sanders for Gary and the Eagles. But a Tony Gonzalez on the 100 year. And our first hit from Chronicles going out to Tegan and the Titans. Oh, look at that. Nasty A.J. Brown. That is beautiful. What do we got? 80, 96 out of 99, I think. 96. Well, let me get sleeved up. At least get it in a penny here. And we'll, then we'll look at it. A.B. Was that A.B. 2? Is that what he's? A.J. Brown. Yeah, 96 out of 99, 96 out of 99. So nice A.J. Brown there for Tegan and the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, that is sweet. I like that Crown Royal. That is sweet. All right, congratulations, Tegan. All right, we've got a nice little numbered here on a Donovan and McNabb, 17 out of 99 on the McNabb, 17 out of 99. Oh, my gosh. So, Gary, yesterday I stopped in at TCI. She was telling me they're hoping end of August is when they'll get more top loaders. End of August. <laughs> she said the only other chance is supposedly there's a company in Texas trying to uh, – get it down and start making top loaders. So if they do that, hopefully there'll be a little bit more, but holy cow. All right, got a Darnell Savage on the uh, classics, the score classics. Oh my goodness, look at that card. Man, that one is mangled. Look at that. That end and that end. That is absolutely mangled Darnell Savage. Did you know Darnell enjoys listening to rapper 21 Savage? There we go. Woo. Sorry, Roscoe. Sorry about that one, buddy. That's a uh, Panini should replace that one for you, though. Not to be that guy, but I'm glad it wasn't this one. There's a little Kyler on the Vertex. That little Kyler Kyler on the Vertex. Going out to Murph. Going out to Murph and the cards. So, yep, not to be that guy, but I'm uh, <laughs> glad they mangled the uh, Darnell Savage and not the Kyler Murray on the Vertex. So, congrats, Murph. Nice, Murray. It's just going to be a theme tonight here. We've got another Kyler Murray. We're going to have these, like, packs with multiple players. So, there you go. A nice score, Kyler Murray, for you, Murph. You get a couple of them. Congrats on the Kyler. I, you know, that's a good question, Sean. How does that, how does that happen, man? I mean, that's, 
I don't know if it gets caught in the machine when they're cutting it or something, but the fact that it's here and here is what makes it weird. Yeah, I don't know, man. All right, JJR Sega Whiteside on the rookie, on the Panini rookie. Oh, I know, in the middle of packs, like that's why I think it's got to be coming during the cutting process or something like that. Because obviously the pack wasn't damaged. It was just that card. What the hell? Oh, it's the top of a crown where I was like, what is that cut edge? All right, got a nice Haskins on the studio. And a nice Haskins on the studio. So there you go, John. We're doing a nice job of getting the uh, first round quarterbacks. All right, and then a Matthew Stafford. Got a Warren Sapp. I'm sure he's doing a you know celebration dance, but to me it looks like he's power walking. <laughs> it's like he's doing some power walking. So I don't run, man. Yeah, see there. You see that the rippling on the top of that. I'm telling you, I'm wondering if I told you that pack seal wasn't great. I'm wondering if, yeah, that's what happened here, man. The cards got up into the top. I bet the cards got up into the top when they tried to seal it. You got an Andy Isabella, 186 out of 199. Well, Arizona, Andy Isabella there for Murph. Because that rough edge I saw, we got another kind of mangled card coming up here. So I'm almost wondering if that, when this pack, when they went to seal this pack, something was wrong. Yeah, we got a couple of them in a row here. So you got a Cooper Cup that's all mangled up there. Look at that. So I'll uh, – now let me dig out these packs. I'll try to remember to send a, one of the uh, empty packs with all the damaged cards so that you guys want to hit up Panini. They will replace them. They will replace them for you, so – you know, so far, fortunately, none of them have been uh, monster hits. But, yeah, okay, I got a few packs out there, so I'll try to remember to include those in the package. Yeah, no, it looks like we were good on this one. Um, doesn't look like we had any autos or anything in this one. So, yeah, there you go. Will Greer, that's Mon. That, look at that, man. That's freaking mangled. Yeah, so yeah, I bet that's why the top of that wasn't sealed great. Somehow the cards got lifted up when they went to seal it along the top. It just hammered the cards and didn't seal the pack very well. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, exactly. Panini at its best. Although I'm not going to say, I, I really, I don't know that I've pulled mangled packs like that before. Hey, look, there's the uh, missing piece of the uh, Will Greer Crown Royal right there on Will's face. <laughs> All right. The Will Greer looks okay, though, so that's good. The Will Greer looks okay. Yeah, exactly. At least that one went into a penny sleeve. <laughs> uh, this Greer looks okay. I said the Crown Royal one was definitely beat up. This one looks okay, though, Justin. And then we got a Bryce Love on the Panini Rookie. And a Hunter Renfro. On the Gridiron Kings. All right, so we found one auto. Found the sweet Anton or AJ Brown. I keep saying Antonio, don't I? AJ Brown, uh, RPA. So we're still looking for a mem and an auto out of the second half of the stack. So good luck, everyone. We got a Donovan McNabb to start us off. Gary, do get you a numbered McNabb. I don't know if you were here yet to see that. but All right, next hit. This one going out to Mon the Saints. Oh, 23 out of 25 on the signature series. Jared Cook. Wow, 23 out of 25. So nice low numbered for Mon the Saints. So congrats. I really like these uh, signature series cards. They're just beautiful cards. It's monster thick. 23 out of 25 on the Jared Cook. Yeah, you're right, Sean. Somebody should – yeah, right. Quality control. They didn't do a very good job of catching that. 
But, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> All right, so congrats, Ma. Nice Jared Cook. I said, I really, the signature series are really sharp auto cards. So, looking good, looking good. 23 out of 25 on that one. All right, so we are still looking for a mem card out of here. Got a Nick Bosa, 159 out of 199 for Chris and the Niners. I want to jinx it, but it does at least appear that our uh, the feed got better. <laughs> looking a lot better there. So a little Nick Bosa for Chris, 159 out of 199. Little Hollywood Brown on the Titan rookie for Levi. I love those. Those Titans are sharp. So a little Hollywood for you. And then a studio of A.J. Brown. We'll get it right this time. A.J. <laughs> and a Devin Bush on the Gridiron Kings. Got a little... Uh, Maybe a little Haskins here on the base 100 year. Like I said, we've done well. We haven't had any monsters with the uh, rookie, the first round quarterbacks. Lots of base and lots of insert. And then we've got a Jared Goff. A Hollywood Brown, 90 out of 99. So there you go, Levi, on the classics. A little Hollywood, 90 out of 99. And did you know Marquise grew up in the same neighborhood with Calvin and Riley Ridley? Eh, I did not. That's a good one. All right, little crown royal of Nikhil Harry going out to the Patriots. Celine. And then we've got the nice Terry McLaurin on the uh, Luminance. So definitely a fan of the uh, Luminance reboots. So nice little Terry McLaurin for John and Washington. How about a uh, Gridiron Kings of Kyler Kyler? So there you go, Murph. Like I said, I'm not pulling the monsters, but we're pulling lots of the, the base and the inserts. So take what we can get. Sean, is he Antonio's cousin? He might be. I'm not, I'm not 100% on that, to be honest with you, though. All right. Got a little Gardner Minshew going out to Jacksonville and Bobby Potts. Just didn't want to go in. That's why I was looking to see. Is that curve? A little bit of a curve, but not, not bad. How about an Andre Johnson on the 100 years? All right. It looks like uh, Hometown Heroes will be our last mem hit. So we'll just set that aside and hit it here in a second. A little Miles Sanders for you, Gary. 145 out of 199. So a nice little numbered Miles. Congrats, congrats. A little Miles Sanders there. Got a nice Drew Brees on the classics. Let's see. Uh, I think I've read his before, but I don't remember it. Did you know Drew was named Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year in 2010? <laughs> That's about right, Sean. Hopefully he got his talent, but not his mentality. You got a DK Metcalf. Nice little Metcalf for you there, Ma, on the Vertex. A nice little crown royal here of Nicky Bosa for the Niners. There you go, Chris. Got a Hollywood Brown on the Classics. So, uh, yes, yes, we did. So, wait, was that other one numbered? Hang on. Other one had to be numbered, right? I just missed it. Yes, it was. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. 90 out of 99 on that one, Levi. The first one was numbered. 90 out of 99. I may have even called that out and not top-loaded it. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> so there we go. One non-numbered, one numbered. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon says, I can't pull any Denver cards either. You're right. That's the quarterback we haven't seen is any Drew Locke. All right, got a Terry McLaurin for Washington. Got a Gridiron Kings of DK Metcalf for Mon Seattle. 
Thought I'd make it through this box on the penny sleeves I had, but I'm going to be one short. Grab another pack here. No, no, no. Don't want the thick ones. There we go. All right. So we also had the Darius Slayton for the Giants. Say it with me. Broncos. <laughs> That's funny. All right. For our hometown heroes, and this one is numbered, going out to Washington and John on the Ryan Kerrigan. 169 out of 199. 169 out of 199 on the Ryan Kerrigan. So congrats, John. A nice Washington hit. Well, I'm just emptying everything out. <laughs> All right, so congrats, John. The uh, Washington hit there. And the Ryan Kerrigan. Hometown Heroes, numbered 169 out of 199. So congratulations. All right, so we had the kind of, like I said, we had the one pack that was a little mangled there, but I've got some of the packs, so I'll try to remember to send those out with anybody who gets one of those mangled cards if you want to hit Panini. Good news is there were no monsters that were impacted, so it was nice Will Greer, though, so definitely might be worth it, but nice stack there of uh, penny sleeved cards. And we got, what, the A.J. Brown and the Jared Cook and then the Ryan Kerrigan, so good one. I mean, A.J. Brown is just beautiful RPA. The Ryan – or the Jared – A.J. Brown was nice RPA. The Jared Cook is numbered to 25, so a couple of nice hits for sure. Yeah, Sean, Broncos and – or Tampa Bay in general are kind of a hard hit, but they have been very, very quiet. All right. Absolute time. I said, I've definitely been looking forward to this. I've had this box sitting on the shelf for quite a while. I uh, definitely like the absolute. So we're looking for five hits out of this box, three autos and two mems. But they just typically, man, they got something, at least one of their hits usually out of a box is just something nasty. <laughs> So let's see if we can find something good tonight. We got the absolute, and then we'll move on and do the. We'll do a recap after this, and then we will clear the decks for the mini helmet. <laughs> All right, I love this part of it—the three little mini packs that they give you, or mini boxes. They call them packs. I think that's fun, though. But uh, definitely just pulled some really, really cool cards. Uh, Sean, you're right. You should let Ma pick your team. She is pretty good. Ma knows a lot about cards, so when she sees the sets that are up there, Ma knows, Ma knows what she's looking for, too. So uh, it's, it's not just luck. I know that. I've seen her hit enough to know that she just knows what she's looking for in those sets. Heck, usually when I have a question about a card during a break, she's the one that answers it. Johnny on the spot, so to speak. All right. Pack number one. I'll definitely put a couple of fillers out here. We'll keep the cover card close just in case. So five hits. So two of the three packs should have two hits in them. We should get an auto out of every pack. That's what I really like. So a little clear pack there. I said, Ma, that ain't, that ain't just luck. You know what you're looking for in the sets. It does still take some luck, no doubt about it. Oops. Ugh, come on. All right. Good luck, everybody. And that's why I don't go to casinos, and I'm right there with you, Sean. Gambling makes me too nervous. All right, start off with a little Nick Foles. 
It's great looking cards. Then a Dak Prescott. Let's see what we... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ugh. All right, that'll go into uh, somebody that doesn't really get anything. I said, I've kind of taken that mantra of uh, 250 or less. They're just going to go to somebody that doesn't get a hit. So that's what I get for talking all that about Absolute and how much I love it. All right, I mean, Joe is a monster, though, Absolute. All right, got a Lil Jordan Humphrey numbered 36 out of 75. 36 out of 75. So there you go, Ma. You have a little Saints hit for you. Oh, yeah. Detroit and uh, Indy should both definitely do a little better in 2020. In fact, the uh, 2020 we did uh, last week, yeah, Detroit, Detroit had a really good break. All right, here we go. We got a team tandem, 157 out of 199 going out to Ma. Gary Jennings Jr. and Tyler Lockett for the Seattle Seahawks. So congratulations, Ma. It's just kind of funny we're talking about that. She gets a numbered Saints card, a little team tandem for the Seahawks. <laughs> that is kind of funny. But congrats, Ma. Oops, no. It says 130, please. 100 won't do it. All right. That's what I need one of those 120s for. I need one of those 120 points. All right, congrats, Ma. All right, Absolute. You got us in the first pack with the points. At least we got that out of the way. All right, looking for three more hits still. Two autos and a mem. So good luck, everyone. Fatty in there. Holy fatty. Holy fatty. Ooh, see what that is in a moment. <laughs> All right, let's move it here. We'll hit the... Uh... Base on top here, we've got a Michael Thomas, another Saints card. Got a numbered, got a gridiron force here, numbered 65 out of 100 on the Mike Singletary. <laughs> Sean, I'm yet to see a big fatty card with points on it. Now, that would be downright dirty if Panini did that. Here, we're going to give you a nice thick card and put points on it. 65 out of 100 on the gridiron force Mike Singletary. Going out to Chicago and John. So congrats. A lot of numbered ones in this one. So we got a uh, Noah Fant, 161 out of 199. 161 out of 199. And another pack of loaders here. But yeah, what the uh, local card store here, they've still got some top loaders, but they're limiting how many you can buy. And that guy's happy to be able to get four, four packs of them. All right. So there's a little Denver for you, Brandon. Is at least a sighting. 161 out of 199. 161 out of 199 on the Noah Fant. We got the Rashawn Gary, 20 out of 100. So get a little Green Bay hit there for Roscoe. Green Bay is another one of those teams that has been very quiet. 20 out of 100. Rashawn Gary. <laughs> actually found you a, a Denver card, Brandon. <laughs> so I'm switching allegiance. I actually pulled a Denver card. 20 out of 100. All right, Melissa, do the job. We're going to hold that one. We're going to do that card at the end of the box. <laughs> All right, so we do have, I'm assuming that's autographed. I'm assuming it's autographed. 
So we will do that here after this pack. It's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. All right, but we are still looking for an auto and a mem out of here. Like I said, unless they somehow did us dirty and put a mem in there and not an auto. All right. There we go. Turn the whole pile around. No, that's right. There was a Darnell Savage. <laughs> that's right. Little mangled. <laughs> All right. Start off here. We've got an Adrian Peterson for Washington. A Tredavious White. Oh. Wow. All right. All right, how about a TJ or JJ Watt? I'm sorry, seven out of 100. JJ Watt, got a nice little curve to it, but a little Houston love for Matt. JJ Watt, seven out of 100. Straighten you out in the top loader there, sir. JJ Watt, seven out of 100. All right, because we got an iconic ink too. So we got a couple of nice. It's funny, is when I saw this one, I was like, oh, tell me that's autographed. I'm disappointed it's not, but mm. all right. Canton Absolutes. How about a Larry Fitzgerald? 107 out of 199 on a Canton Absolute. Going out to the Cardinals and Murph on the Larry Fitzgerald. So nice hit. <laughs> yeah, it was a little something, Matt. It wasn't much, buddy, but it was a little something. All right, so Larry Fitzgerald for Murph and the Cardinals, though. 107 out of 199. So congrats, Murph. All right, we're about to have some fun then now. Oh, my God. It's number to 10. I'm going to go ahead and one touch it, though, because this is just beautiful. It's two players, one team. Wow. This is cool. So two out of 10 on an, oh, uh, no, I'm sorry, one out of 20. Or, yeah, okay, I was reading it up. So it's one out of 20. I don't care. I'm still one touching it. I think it's a beautiful card. One out of 20. Isn't that funny? I was reading it upside down, but my head, my brain went ahead and turned the two for me. So it looked right. <laughs> on an iconic Inc. Dual signatures, one out of 20. Going out to Todd and the Vikings. How about a John Randall and Randall McDaniel? That is sweet. That is a really sweet card on the John Randall and Randall McDaniel. So nice hit, Todd. Came in and grabbed the Vikes and gets himself a sweet, iconic ink card. Yeah, exactly, Brian. If you're a Vikings fan, okay, so if you are a Vikings fan, that is an awesome hit. That's, okay, that's one of those. That may not be a huge dollar, but if you're a Vikings fan, that's awesome. That's a card you want. Yeah, like my Bernie and Ozzie Newsom. It's not a high-dollar card, but as a Browns fan, I love it. If I were a Vikings fan, heck, I'm not a Vikings fan, and I love that. So John Randall and Randall McDaniel. So, yeah, awesome, awesome hits. We've got that. We're going to put that next to our 101, Deontay Johnson. Pulled out a limited. So nice. Randall McDaniel. Yes, sir. That does go on the Vikings uh, mantle. I know. I kind of laughed when I was reading it too, RW. 
John Randall, Randall McDaniel, just kind of all runs together, doesn't it? <laughs> all right. Well, we've still got one left. What's that number? Thank you, Melissa. You like that now, Gary? I use Melissa as my cover card now. <laughs> the hottie for Scotty. The hottie for Scotty. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Man, I'm mm, I'm gonna one touch it. I think it's number. I think it's ninety nine. I don't care. It's beautiful. Let me find the right size one touch. I can still get one touches. Those haven't been a problem, so we won't be stingy with those. <laughs> won't be stingy with the one touches. Got a football and two great patches. And yes, it is 80 out of 99. Golly. All right. Called it right off the bat on that Danny Dines. How about a Danny Dines going out to John Baresh and the New York Giants? Right? 80, yeah, 80 out of 99. A football and two nice patches with chunks of letter or number. Danny Dimes. Beautiful. On the New York Giants. It's like just a touch of the end there isn't a great print. Overall, beautiful card. So congrats. See, so, I mean, they got us with the points. But the other two autos they gave us. You know, I can, I guess I can live with that. I mean, I don't like points ever, but if those are the other two autographs that you get out of that box, I mean, if I had bought that in the store and come home and opened it, I'd be like, all right, <laughs> all right, I can live with that. I would say I could live with that if I bought that home from the store and opened it for myself. Wow. Wow. I said, even with even with the crummy points, I said the points just still go to somebody that uh, doesn't get anything in a top loader. Get them a little something, you know. You get a couple hundred of those, you can get something good. <laughs> All right, so what a box of absolute. Yeah, I said even with the points, that's awesome. That is awesome. So congrats, John. Congrats, congrats. All right, so we'll do a little rundown here of the autos, and then we'll clear the decks and we'll get the Leaf Mini Helmet to finish. So we do have a nice stack of top loaders here, everybody. So not too bad. We'll put those guys in the back. Kelly, Deontay, man, look at that. Boom. Those three cards alone. 101, Deontay Johnson, nice Danny Dimes, the iconic ink on the John Randall and Randall McDaniel. That is nasty. All right, so we started off with score, and we got a Dylan Mitchell and a Jeffrey Simmons. Then we'll add another LJ Scott to my collection of, you know, retired players. Then we got the Emmanuel Hall numbered to uh, 20. So that was 11 out of 20. We had the Nasir Adderley, the Jared Cook, and the AJ Brown that came out of Limited for us. So real nice box of Limited. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Doc, I know what you're saying. Danny Dimes, I don't know that everybody sold on him yet either, but he's hot. <laughs> All right, A.J. Brown, Nasir Adderley, and a Jared Cook. Yeah, I think that's the question is, were the Giants smarter than everybody, or did they just draft the next Mitchell Trubisky? You know, that's a lot of people were saying that when the Bears moved up for Trubisky. Is, whew, at least Danny Dimes had a little more college under his belt than uh, – Yeah, Brian, it's definitely uh, very streaky, no doubt, with breaks. It is very streaky sometimes. All right, but congratulations, RW, the 101. DJ, 101, baby, got to love that. Beautiful Danny Dimes. The iconic ink, loving it. John Randall and Randall McDaniel. All right, and that leaves... Autograph mini helmet. 
I've been pretty impressed with the uh, the leaf that I've seen, the helmets that I've opened so far. Um, I mean, I like the TriStar. Uh, I like the Gold Rush for sure. Uh, the leaf, I just hadn't really opened many, but uh, we've opened a handful now, and they've been pretty good. So they've been pretty good. Yep, Doug, I'm the same way. I know what you mean. I keep saying, ah, uh, just take it easy this week. And nope. <laughs> and then I see one post, it's like Browns. Nah. Because <laughs> I'm always like, ah, oh, but what if this is the one where they pull the monster? <laughs> what if this is the break? <laughs> What if this is the one? I know, man. I I feel you, Doug. All right. So we do have the nice leaf seal there. So we'll go ahead and get that cut. Kind of weird, though. It's right over their tab, so it's hard to cut clean. Hey, you got that one good. All right, everybody. Thank you again for joining me here tonight. Uh, like I said, we're changing the schedule up a little bit this week. We've got a 2020 break uh, scheduled on eBay tomorrow, so... You want to get one more break in with with uh, me here at Breaking Boxes with Scotty before the weekend. We'll do an eBay break tomorrow night. A little 2020 action with some Flash Legacy. Got a mini helmet in that one. So should be a, a good break again. <laughs> so I, uh, I appreciate you all being here with me tonight. If I don't see you again, enjoy the long holiday weekend. Uh, that would be kind of an odd one, but... Everybody take a little extra time off work and a good excuse to do some grilling out. So maybe come on. All right. Good luck, everyone. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. I'm going to have to do the double check to make sure I understand the longest tenured because this is a good one. And I know it's between two teams. So I'm going to have to look it up and we're going to have to, going to have to make sure, but it is a college helmet. That's why I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah, it's a college helmet, so. You got a little USC helmet in there. A little USC. Y'all take a guess there while I uh, do some quick research. I just, I know he was on two teams for, I think, a similar amount of time, so that's why I just, Want to make sure I get this right. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't even close. Okay, this is an easy one. Not even close. Not even close. What do we got? Reggie Bush, OJ. No, no, no. I haven't hit it yet. I haven't hit it yet. It's a good one, though. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. How about a little end of the break fire for my buddy, Gary Eck? How about a Marcus Allen, Gary? Boom. <laughs> How about a Marcus Allen on the USC helmet? Boom. So, yeah, we can see. It's kind of hard to see the signature there. It's kind of hidden by the sticker. Yep, there you go, Sean. You were on it. Yep, there you go, Doug. Marcus Allen, Marcus Allen. But, yeah, he was with the Raiders. I thought for some reason he was with the Chiefs longer than he was. But, no, the Raiders was like 10 years, and the Chiefs were only four. So that is definitely a Marcus Allen, and that is an Oakland Raider. So congrats, Gary. Add that to your collection. I know that's a good one. Wow, that is awesome. Marcus Allen. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Yeah, that's right, Gary. God, I'm going to have to come see you, man. I got this one. I got that Matt Weiner I pulled for you. One of the breaks when you had Arizona. One of the 2020 random team breaks. You got Arizona and got a Matt Weiner. So, yeah, Gary's on fire. I mean, Marcus Allen. Uh, yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Heck, yeah, I'll bring that to you and uh, expect to see that one in, in one of the cases after, after that shows up at Eagle Finn break room. So congratulations, Gary. Awesome hit to finish the night. Seriously, though, great break, guys. I mean, one-on-one, couple more one-touches, lots of low-numbered cards, and we finish it off with a Marcus Allen. That's awesome. 
I mean, whew. All right, everybody. Well, it's been a good one. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I said, if I don't see you again this weekend, uh, have a good one. Enjoy the holiday. And uh, everybody have a good night. Hope to see you soon. Oops. I forget my mouse goes to sleep after a while and then I can't finish it. <laughs> Set up. Now, Matt, if I knew Marcus Allen was in that one, I'd have just opened it. It had never been on camera. I'd have just opened that and set it on my shelf. <laughs> And yes, Gary, we both have pulled some USC helmets because I got that Charlie White you pulled for me. Yep. Yep. Ah, ah, that's great. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a good night. I hope to see you soon. <laughs>